in general, the food was all Everything. very, very good. Amazing. Really tasty. We yeah. really enjoyed the it. Was really nice, huh? And the, the restaurant is impeccably decorated. Really nice and restaurant. So clean and yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So we're at the restaurant JC Holdway. The restaurant is actually owned by a chef, Joseph Lin. The restaurant's very well rated. It, um, it is committed to open source sustainability. Uh, it's got unique things here, sounds tasty, and they like open fire cooking. So we're looking forward to trying it out. And a lot of the dishes look unique, creative, and should be really tasty. I looked at the menu. They have a couple of interesting things, sort of unique here. They have a fillet with ramps. If you haven't heard of ramps, you're not the first person who hasn't heard of ramps. Uh, you usually see them in the Northeast a lot. Occasionally you see them here. If you forage, you can find them growing wild. They're a lot like a leek or a green onion of some kind. So they have an oniony flavor. It's kind of a unique sort of a thing to try. Uh, we're not going to get that, but I just wanted to let you know they do have them on the menu here. They also have hush puppies, which are very southern, but we decided to go with the cornbread instead of the hush puppies. And I think we're going to get some short rib pasta. We're probably going to get their charred onion dip. They normally have a smoked trout dip, but tonight they don't have that. Tonight they have the charred onion dip. Like I said, they're very sustainable here, so you're, you're not going to have the same thing every night. And so we've decided, we've looked at the menu, we've decided what we're going to get. Should be good. No allergies. Good deal. Good deal. We're good. We do uh, want to encourage y'all to order everything at once and I can force it out. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I noticed you don't have your smoked trout dip, but you've got a charred onion dip. Yes, sir. Is that kind of replaces it, right? Correct, yes. Sir. Okay, that's what we'll get. We'll get the charred onion dip. Um, I Brussels think, sprouts. yeah, she wants to get the Brussels sprouts. Um, we're going to get the cornbread, and that's probably going to be enough, especially if we get a dessert later. I would say so. And she likes red wine. Um, you have a wine list here? On the back side of the food menu, yes, Oh, sir. okay. That's nice. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Yeah? Yeah, okay. just like you like it. Oh, okay. It definitely has some Syrah in it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Brussels sprouts with our smoked onion jam. Yes. And then we have our onion dip, house-made potato chips, trout roe. Thank you. So after dinner tonight, we're going to a concert. The reason we're in Knoxville tonight is actually to go see that concert. We're going to see Joe Bonamassa, uh, which is a musician Young happens to love. Uh, and I, we live in Southern California, so I figured out if you want to go to a concert in Southern California for a popular musician, it's going to be very expensive because the minute the tickets come out, the scalpers buy them all up and they sell them at a premium. So good tickets for the Joe Bonamassa concert in Southern California were about $950 a seat. And I figured out that we could fly to Knoxville, we could get a hotel, we could rent a car, and we could do this whole trip and see the Joe Bonamassa concert in Knoxville for less than it cost us to just buy the tickets for Southern California. So we're here in Knoxville. We're gonna watch the concert. But first we're here for a nice dinner. And we started out with some Brussels sprouts. Mm. They roast them with onion jam. Really good, a little bit sweet, a little bit charred. Brussels sprouts seem to be really popular here in Knoxville. We've seen them at like three or four of the restaurants we've been to. They fry them. Did they fry them? Did I think, them? yeah, I think they do fry these. They're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, what's in the bag? No, actually, 
homemade potato chips. Oh. They normally do their smoked trout dip. Instead, they've got a smoked onion or a charred onion dip with trout roe. I'm not doing the trout roe, I'm just doing the onion dip, but I did get a fish egg in there. That's okay, I'll live. Mm. It's good. It's got a nice flavor, it's a little unique. I don't have to eat fish eggs. I mean, we're in Tennessee. For all we know, these are actually baby fishes. Okay. We have our handkerchief pasta with our braised short rib and a spinach pesto. We have our cornbread with our muddy pond sorghum butter. The muddy pond sorghum butter, muddy pond is an Amish community. Mm -hmm. 90 minutes from here, they do all the old school churring. Oh, and uh, sorghum is a caramelized grass they add to it. It's one of the only ingredients we don't make ourselves. We let the Amish do that. Y'all enjoy your dinner. Thank you. This is handkerchief pasta with short ribs and it looks like spinach on it. So the pasta you can tell is, is hand ripped here. It's homemade pasta. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll take a fork and I'll cut it. There we go. Very tasty, a little bit smoky, salty, but it's good. And of course, you got to do a southern ingredient. You got to do the cornbread. And this, I really this, like the cornbread. The cornbread was really good. Really crispy on the bottom. Uh, so the texture was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was not sweet. It's totally my kind of cornbread. Mm -hmm. Blue cornbread. Again, everything here is just a little bit salty for me, but it is good. We have a YouTube channel. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. That dessert was spectacular. Really good. The smoked vanilla ice cream was so unusual. It was very tasty with the peanut butter chocolate tart. Just really good. And the crunchy cookies and the, the smooth peanut butter. It was a really nice dessert. Right. And I'll let Joseph and company know the make. Now this is a chocolate peanut butter tart. For those of you who don't know, one of the very first chocolate peanut butter candies ever made were Google Clusters, which were made just down the street from here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And so we decided we have to give the honor to Google Clusters and get the chocolate peanut butter tart. Look at that. Got creamy peanut butter on the bottom. That's good. Mm-hmm. You can't have any. It's all mine. It comes with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and knowing the reputation of this restaurant, they made the ice cream here. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's a little smoky flavored. That's interesting, that's a smoky vanilla ice cream along with the peanut butter chocolate tart. It was a nice dinner. It was a nice dinner, very pleasant dinner. Um, you know, like every place we've been here in Knoxville, the people were very nice, very welcoming, very pleasant. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy that. I like the fact that the restaurant itself, there are a lot of staff working there. Good. You have no shortage of service. Yeah. Everybody's constantly refilling your water, refilling mm -hmm. your tea. Um, you know, we check in the back, there's so many people. We uh, came here right after the restaurant opened, 
and uh, I tried to take the uh, video in the back. There are so many people in the checking table, checking wine, uh, and glasses, and yeah. everything. The employment was. And great. we we love the fact that you know, right now the state of Tennessee, in certain states, they have some economic issues. You know, they're trying to mm -hmm. come back from where we were a while ago, and. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice that you have a restaurant here, a local restaurant that employs a whole bunch of the local people. Yeah. And, uh, and on top of it, what they do is they give you a good dining experience because you've got a whole bunch of people serving you. Yeah. And it's really nice. The, the rest of the food was good. It was good Southern food. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it really matches the taste of this area. The, the taste of Knoxville is a little salty for us. For us yeah. you know, but again, the uh, the food was just amazing. Mm -hmm. We really, this was definitely a worth mile meal. It's one of our better meals here in Knoxville. Great. Mm -hmm.